Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. While scandals have always followed Royal Family, tabloids claiming William cheated with Rose Hanbury and was set to leave Kate is too much so wonder if part of this may be true. It shattered the image of William as adored dad to his three kids George, Charlotte and Louis, and obedient wife to Catherine. The William-led supporters have been hearing from many who had stood aside and not joined the new groupings that this was a surprise announcement. And plenty, rightly, wouldn't admit it felt history might repeat itself, that Kate would die like Diana died and William like his dad. They were still terrified, though it was hard to believe. But the most important issue is, did William have an affair with Kate, Luce? Open on. Rose Hanbury for that, you will have to watch the movie till the end. While Rose Hanbury and Kate Middleton appeared to be the perfect pals, it was reported that one more wrinkle in the Prince William slash Kate Middleton romantic puzzle arose. The two women appeared to be close in the months before the incident. Her relationship is mentioned everywhere from the glossy pages of posh journals to gossip at cocktail get-togethers. Hello. In 2016, Middleton and Hanbury were in the news when Hello. Article continued below the piece referred to Hanbury as a pal of the Duchess of Cambridge. Hanbury was staying just three miles away from Amher Hall, William and Kate's property in Norfolk due to the couple's friendship. Calmly, 7th Marquis of David so it was part of the story, or at least the context. As far as each other being next to next, Reed, could randomly go on spontaneous outings slash adventures, proximity availability seems to be the hurdle, of meeting at all. The two couples appear to have hit it off well, before having their relationship overshadowed by claims they both had an affair. Despite their vastly different stations, they were said to have arranged playdates between their kids and attended weddings together. The reason behind this was due to the entanglement of their lives so closely together, which went against the class structures whereby all their various roles within society revolved. By this time, the couples had been eerily similar, a source said earlier. So with Kate and Rose at similar points in their lives, it follows that William and David were also both part of their past. Even more reason they fit well together was the duo had quite a bit in common. So far, they clicked over organic food and had talked babies. The extent of their calling each other so often told you the proximity that was definitely between them. This was seen as proof of a real friendship, since they showed up together to various functions. The Prince William, Rose Hanbury affair, broken dreams and ruined unions were left in its wake. In the fallout royal circles were said to be shaken to their foundations. Malcolm Pullinger Prince William was busy doing damage control after claims surfaced saying the heir to the throne was cheating on Kate with a third party, not only did the allegations rock Kensington Palace. Despite all this, of course, he claims nothing inappropriate took place. Kate Middleton is said to excel under pressure and the palace is not wasting any time responding to suggestions of a rift. When the allegations came to light, the Duchess of Cambridge reportedly issued her husband an ultimatum to cut all ties from the Hanbury family. Evidently, that incident made Middleton stand her ground on the topic, and it marked a dramatic change in her strategy 2024 relationship with them. According to a report from In Touch, at least one member of Brangelina's entourage clearly agrees. The distance between Middleton and Hanbury only grew when the media began to spread rumors of a feud. The relationship had been irrevocably destroyed by the charges, as strong as blood was once portrayed to be, lay in tatters with bitterness to be carried down for generations to come. A betrayal and resentment were apparent according to stories from The Sun, whose issue at one point showed a photograph of the couple torn apart. As for the Duchess of Cambridge, she is now reportedly less keen at the thought of a peace deal in the tug-of-war. Prince William is torn between loyalty to his wife and keeping their social scene. Two years on, he was still undecided. That is why he found himself at the heart of the battle despite Middleton's desire to cut all ties with the Hanbury clan, James Wilmot, who is looking after his wife following hysterectomy surgery last year.
claims William tried to mediate in the situation in an attempt to restore their previous close relationship. Middleton might be a little softer around the edges these days, but she was still all out of bubble bath when it came to the Hanburys. That resolution, a reflection of the depths of her suffering and anger, persisted for years. Not only did they live less than a half mile from one another, but as multiple mutual friends gradually learned of the scenario, it added an additional layer of complexity to an already messy situation. Middleton, however, remained undeterred and refused to sacrifice her values for the sake of politeness, even with Prince William playing peacekeeper. Middleton's mind was made up, and that wasn't something you can alter. There were also many rumors, but the other media confirmed that there was never any possibility of divorce between the couple. This also underscored how strong their marriage is as well. That much we do know, and their continued dating throughout all of the turmoil sparked an intense debate. Their decision was interpreted in many ways by observers. Others believed the couple's continued marriage proved the cheating rumor to be a hoax. That reasoning, the pair concurred, indicated that Middleton had forgiven her husband for any transgressions he may have committed sometime during their marriage. Along with a photo of the couple, all comments said they rose above the problem and showed such grace to forgive and move on. Yet, a lot of folks thought it was some unseen extraterrestrial power that held them together. Which I can only imagine Queen Elizabeth II couldn't afford another scandal in the royal family. Dates from 2006 claimed the Queen told her grandson to be careful when selecting a bride and avoid the marriage woes that had plagued previous generations of the royals. These accounts said the Queen had advised her grandson to choose his bride wisely. The divorces of Prince Charles and Princess Diana enormous spectacles in the national psyche served as a warning about the dangers of love with royal blood. That whole series of divorces had predicted the harried royal marriage that would be experienced by Prince William and Kate Middleton. There was also a lot of pressure on them to defend the integrity of the institution. And Queen Elizabeth's kids, other than Prince Edward, stayed with the same spouse for a long time. As soon as the rumor mill began to turn, Prince William shot in with his lawyers and acted, quickly preventing what he felt was shameful and incorrect info from getting shared. Last month lawyers for Prince William warned media outlets about the rumors which he had allegedly been seeing on-off since 2004. The letters warned media websites against spreading unsubstantiated rumors, and threatened legal action if they continued to do so. Something similar was reportedly threatened by a royal family law firm to at least one British outlet, the Daily Beast said. Then that notification, intended for dissemination, found its way to the publication. The letter, which was described as being well-written and legal in style, stressed the untruth of the allegations made by New Idea and added that Prince William's reputation would suffer irreparable damage if no action were taken. It cited violations of privacy under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights, indicating just how seriously the royal family treated false stories about their private lives. In the past, the royal family has opted for silence in response to public ire, almost never delivering a rebuttal as immediate as this one. Facing legal consequences was an unprecedented tradition for the British royal family. Former royal editor of The Sun, Duncan Larkham said, It's obvious that Prince William took this matter really, really seriously and was ready to take it all the way to court if necessary. He referred to this step as a last resort because of how complex the case was. That was the scenario that unfolded, and Larkham said this in response. The story behind Prince William and his brother Prince Harry breaking new ground when they were forced to turn to legal letters in a bid to deal with damaging claims within the royal family. This plan was put into place to assist to weather the crisis. The difference here, instead of going to the grave in silence you dare to tell a lie directly to its face. The royal family not so subtly demonstrated the seriousness with which they take any attacks on their reputation and infringements of their right to privacy by taking legal action for the second time this year amid ongoing British public vilification of them. But the other side of a life like Rose Hanbury's is a heavy burden, complete with its own problems and insecurities. Instead, Prince William and Kate Middleton seem like the very embodiment of marital bliss, a grand love story, 
Rose Hanbury's fairy tale looking free from the weight of real-world melodrama. Unlike the lives of Prince William and Kate Middleton, this is. On the surface, Prince William appears to have it all, a lovely wife, three children who are downright remarkable, and all the perks of royalty. This isn't quite the case. His puppy love romance with Kate Middleton has captivated the world of admirers in his life and offered an occasional silver lining to a sometimes tempestuous royal cloud. They have faced challenges, but that is a story for another time, because their love story will last forever. It is the eternal strength of an unyielding love. Prince William, who many view as having one of the cleanest images in the royal family, would find his reputation tarnished by any such rumors of an alleged affair. But uncertainty lurks behind the mask. You think, how could he just walk out on a devoted wife and loving family, especially after all the fairy tale pixie dust swirling around their romance? But as the saying goes never judge a book by its cover, and behind closed door may be an entirely different narrative than what is played out on national TV. But as nice as Prince William and Kate Middleton's life sounds, it's not perfect, Rose Hanbury has her own set of challenges. Though they may be married and have a child, Marriage to David Chumley is still a gilded cage, same sex, different generations, years apart. Now, at 23 years older than him, this immediately underlines just how different their outlook and therefore life experience ever can be. Which could raise an immediate flag as to whether they really do make appropriate partners. Reports also claimed that Rose Hanbury and David Chumley's relationship lacks the fairy tale passion and romance. Several outlets say that their conflicting interests and the different places in life they are at has caused friction in their lives, ruining the otherwise fairy tale image of marriage. More complex the situation emerges in its own David Chumley, seemingly identifying that Rose is a mere gossip regarding her and Prince William. This also references the angst that may be brewing beneath. Hanbury was put back in the headlines after that admission and her time in the news cycle did not stop there with her husband David Chumley as they attended a Buckingham Palace state dinner where Donald Trump was present. However, the absence of her wedding band appeared to get people talking in the crowd with many wondering where it was. Her decision to attend the high-profile event without her wedding band also sparked speculation around an alleged affair with Prince William and questions over the state of her marriage. The Daily Mail also quoted an unnamed source who expressed concerns about Hanbury's welfare. According to one source, she was experiencing crises in her social circles and in her life. Some of Hanbury's friends immediately dropped her after that incident, others stuck with her and a divide in loyalties happened there too. It was a time of personal turmoil and when the announcement came out about her husband David Calmondly never being home their marital house at all really it added an element of loneliness and isolation into their lives, making so much harder for Hanbury. Exploring the potential reasons why Hanbury opted not to wear her wedding band. One simple explanation that is sometimes forgotten, Hanbury's ring was simply being repaired or resized and such an occurrence isn't difficult to imagine amid a rowdy tabloid buzz. Prior to bringing her life into Kate Middleton's inner circle, Hanbury almost certainly bore the marks of a life of style and privilege. Hanbury was brought up around wealthy living as a child, she worked for the well-known Storm Modeling Agency in her youth. Hanbury was easily able to slip into elite social circles due to her being signed under the same modeling agency for Kate Moss. The muted background of her immediate vicinity was taken by her exceptional beauty. But Hanbury's most impactful life moments took place in 2009, when she married David Calmondly, the seventh Marquess of Calmondly. And, this marriage caused a lot of excitement and attention in Britain. Calmondly was one of the most eligible bachelors in England by the time they wed. With all that land and a good noble family behind him, he was hot husband material. To marry Chumley was to wed not only into higher society, but to the heart of aristocratic tradition. Though born to the nobility, Hanbury acquired her title of Marchioness as a result of marriage. She is the granddaughter of Lady Elizabeth Longman, a close friend of Queen Elizabeth II, who was also one of her bridesmaids at the monarch's 1947 marriage to Prince Philip, People. 
one of her grandmothers also was affiliated to the royal family. These royal family connections lent a distinct sense of high British society pedigree to Hanbury's story, giving her background that touch of mystique. Though not officially a member of Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding party in 2011, her presence at the royal event signified she knew her way around the royal inner circle. This power couple dynamic between Prince William and Kate Middleton and Rose Hanbury and David Chumley goes deeper than playdates and drinks. Even while performing their roles in the public tech economy, there are deeper ties between these people's lives that aren't immediately visible. The Daily Mail report suggested it was the relationship between the two couples on more than just a social occasion. Despite these being royal accounts, they share a more familiar level of friendship. Prince William was rumored to be very close with Hanbury's husband, David Chumley, prior to the fallout even though Rose and Kate appeared to get along perfectly fine on a personal level. David Chumley had known the royal family for generations, but his connections long predated the fact that he was a friend and later ex-boyfriend of Prince William. Chumley was already well-established in royal circles long before he ever met the future king thanks to a close bond with Prince Charles. But he became a valuable part of royal circles in 1946, when Barnett was just 14 years old, after being appointed page of honor by Queen Elizabeth II. While Chumley was particularly near the Queen, even to the purpose that as Lord Great Chamberlain he had been entrusted with such ceremonial royal obligations and duties. Through this function, Chumley's ceremonial and administrative responsibilities not only showcased his centrality to the British monarchy, but lent him status as a trusted advisor and confidant of the royal family, acting in essence as a tangible link to the throne. Recent reports of the controversy date back to tabloid gossip, where sensationalism often breeds life. Tabloids have tried before to instigate drama between Rose Hanbury and Kate Middleton, with prior claims of competition and jealousy. Although reports claim this so-called affair is just sensationalism rumor. The Daily Mail wrote in 2016 that Hanbury's life of luxury and aristocratic background could one day render her an even bigger object of envy than the future Duchess of Cambridge. Those two pals are probably going to fight each other. However, insiders speaking to both couples have firmly denied any suggestion of rivalry or bad feelings between the two couples, saying that the claims were hurtful and false. However, just before the press reported on the alleged fling in March 2019, insiders fired back at the speculation. But all of that gossip never impacted the marriage, they contended. Prince William, Kate Middleton, Rose Hanbury and David Chumley have recently been featured in The Sun and The Daily Mail. Other articles portray the allegations as sensational gossip. Sources close to both couples told The Sun the claims were laughable and that they felt hurt by the idea of a rival reforming. Further evidence of their fierce support for each other through troubles is that they are holding together at least a couple of future shaded events that incorporate their charity work. This entire debacle just got juicer with the realization that Kate Middleton might not buy into the allegations over his affair, and it gives us a glimpse into how things go down in the royal marriage. Fleet Street says the Duchess of Cambridge is avoiding PR guru Rose Hanbury not because she believes the rumors, but rather to keep the media from keeping it going. A source close to the royal couple said that Kate Middleton and Prince William typically ignore these rumors, safe in the knowledge that their relationship is rock solid. And now the details behind the alleged affair with Rose Hanbury felt serious enough to them that they were moved to action, even involving lawyers to combat fake news from spreading. Kate Middleton and Prince William were not the only casualties. They are particularly worried for Rose Hanbury, realizing how great of a toll public scrutiny could take on her and her family in the case that this escalts, especially given past royal scandals. Rumors led her to the advertising character's attention. Despite all the scrutiny and speculation, Kate Middleton has reportedly stood by Prince William. With faith in the power of their relationship, she believes they can weather anything together. Friends of the Duchess of Cambridge say she is quite determined when the going gets tough. She is said to be strong enough to rise above the fray. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video.
If you haven't done so yet, if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me. Take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.